But anyways, um, if I was going to ask you guys, basically on your homework, what I asked you to do was to do your homework by factoring. OK, Sven? And when I asked you to go ahead and factor them to solve for your zeros, basically what I'm asking you to do is find the zeros. And when, again, when the zeros, we mean when f of x is equal to 0. So the first thing we do is we set it equal to 0. Now, it does say by factoring. So hopefully, that reminded you of a couple things of what factoring is and so forth, um, since we've been practicing it. Just remember, guys, you can't solve for just, you can't isolate your variable x. You have more than one variable here, right? So we have to factor. The first step always in factoring is factoring out your GCF. So you can see what common term do they all share? Unfortunately, they don't share a number in common, but they do share an x. Oops, that's a 3. 3x squared minus x minus 2. Right Now I need to factor this. Now I could use the long method, which I showed at the beginning of class. But I'm going to do this in my head. I'll talk my way through it for you. So I know if I'm going to multiply two factors to give me 3x squared, I'm going to have one is going to be 3x, and the other one's going to be x. Now my last two numbers need to multiply to give me negative 2. And then the middle terms need to add to give me a negative x. So I am figuring then that's going to be plus 2 minus 1. And again, if I do the factoring, the FOIL in my head, I see that this works. 3x times x is 3x squared. <coughs> 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 2x plus 2 times x plus 3x times negative x gives me a negative x. Does everybody see how I did that? Just practicing doing that in my head. Now. I have a list of products equal to 0. What's the multiplicity of each 0? Uh, one, one. 1. All your zeros are 1. So therefore, I have x equals 0, 3x plus 2 equals 0, and x minus 1 equals 0. Therefore, now to solve for x, x equals negative 2 thirds, x equals 1. And I could write this as a subset or as a set. All right, now 